stations. Attention, all districts. A five-alarm fire, five bells. Move in immediately. That's it. Let's roll. Let's go. Firefighters. Presenting Firefighters, the true-to-life story of our unsung heroes who stand ready to ride by day or night against our most murderous enemy, the Demon of Fire. In just a minute, we'll move to the home of Tim Collins, rookie fireman, where Tim's mother is taking charge of the young firefighter, almost asleep on his feet after the strain and excitement of his first real fire. Chief Cody has a lot to tell Tim's mother, but before we hear the chief, this is something else you ought to know. Let's go, firefighters. Let's go to the sidewalk in front of the Collins' home where you remember Chief Bob Cody has just brought Tim Collins, rookie fireman, to get a good night's rest. Tim, his face black with soot, wrapped in a blanket to protect him from chill and exposure, leans wearily on Chief Cody's shoulders. They climb the set. Oh, gosh, if Mom sees me like this, Chief Cody, all suit and smoke and... Well, here she is. Good evening, Mrs. Collins. See what I brought you. Why, Bob Cody, it's you. I... Oh, Mom, don't, don't you know me? It's glory be, it's my Tim, but... <laughs> it's Tim, all right. Home from his first fire. Is he hurt? Oh, Mom, Hush, I... Hush, boy, I... if there's smoke in your lungs. No, oh, ma'am, he's in good health and good hands, too, now that he's home. Well, come along in, Tim. Chief, help him over this threshold. The boy's falling asleep on his feet. You sleep now, Mrs. Collins? He's washed clean as a lamb, tucked in like a baby and snoring like a buzzsaw. <laughs> or a fireman, Mrs. Collins. You should hear the sleeping beauty chorus in any firehouse in the city when the third platoon is taking its rest. <laughs> Glory be, it must be terrific. <laughs> ben used to laugh about it in the old days. Now, where are you going so soon? Oh, it's late. It's been a long day. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> I'll excuse you when you've put away a cup of hot soup, Bob Cody. <laughs> Yeah. Well, now, I won't deny that looks appetizing and smells it, too. Oh, then sit down and tell me, since this today was Tim's first fire. Tell me, did my boy do all right? Why, Mrs. Collins, I had only one regret. Oh, dear. What did he do wrong? Oh, no, no. My only regret was this. I could have wished he was my own boy. I was that proud of him. His first day on active duty as a rookie fireman, and already the boys in Hook and Ladder 3 ones have a name for him. Well, I could never guess what. You'll have to tell me. Hooksy. Young Hooksy Collins he is. The same name we had for his father years ago. <laughs> Isn't he funny? Well, if I ever made a noise like that... Golly gosh, won't he ever wake up? Hey, Tim. Timmy, wake up. It's 8 o'clock. Tim, look. Open your eyes. It's us. It's Jimmy. And Trudy. Oh, dear, I want him to wake up and say hello before we go to school. Once he goes on that old third platoon, we'll just never see him for a week. I know, Trudy. Look, firemen always wake up for an alarm. Oh, let's. What'll it be, a third alarm? No, a fifth. A fifth? Well, that hardly ever happens. Then it's just what Tim needs to wake him up. Come on, now. One, two, three. Clang, 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 clang. This call, we run! Hit that pole. Oh, no! Oh, no! Uh, coming, Lieutenant. Where are my boots? Be careful, it's only. Uh, who took my boots? Give me back. Uh, hey, hey, Trudy, Trudy, Jimmy, I. Uh, what goes on here, you two? Oh, we've got to go to school, Tim, and we'll... we wanted to say hello, so. So, uh, so we woke you up. That's all. Gosh, you're hard to wake up, Tim. Oh, I am, <laughs> am I? <laughs> Gee, Tim, uh, you don't know your own strength. Look, are you going to sleep at the firehouse, honest? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, that, 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 that's right, yeah. Long as I'm in the third platoon starting tonight. Timmy, tell me something. Hmm? Timmy, when you're sleeping in the dorm... What's it? <laughs> she can't say dormitory. I mean, 
Dormitory, I mean... Dormitory? That's yeah. just what I said, <laughs> practically. Well, anyway, when you're asleep and the call bell rings, how do you get your face washed and your hair combed and everything and, and still get to the fire so fast? Well, golly gosh, Trudy, don't you know... Oh, now, now, Jimmy, nobody knows everything. I, I bet you don't know the difference between a, a, a cellar pipe and a rotary pump come right down to it. Well, sure, I... Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> See, smarty? So there. Well, anybody knows that firemen don't stop to shine their boots and have breakfast and read the morning paper before those trucks roll. <laughs> he's, he's right there, Trudy. Y you see, when you turn in to go to sleep, you tuck your trousers legs right into the legs of your boots. You see what I mean? Oh, so they're just like one piece. Boots and trousers together. Mm -hmm. And when the bell rings, in you jump. That's right, in you jump and hit the pole. Jimmy! Trudy! Oh, uh, we're in Tim's room, Mom. Time for school. Better not be late. Well, so long, kids. Bye. Uh, take care of Mom while I'm away. So long, Tim. I'll break you down, Jimmy. Come, Come on, Papa. Oh, what a pair. Uh, I guess I'll <clears throat> catch another 40 winks. <laughs> or 20 at least. <sighs> Tonight I'll be sleeping at the firehouse. <clears throat> sleeping. Maybe that is. You never could tell. Come on, Hooksy. Come on, Hooksy. Come on. Who? Oh, who's, who's calling? Who's calling, Hooksy Collins? Eh? Hey? Yeah. Is that you, Collins? What do you want? Uh -huh. you, you call me, Murphy. What you call me for? I called you. Oh, and you're dreaming. Go back to sleep now and let me alone. Ah, somebody's dreaming all right, but it isn't... It isn't me. Hey, come on, Hooksy. Jump into your boots. I'm way ahead of you. Hold on to our main. First do we roll. First do we roll. Now hit that pole, Murphy, or get out of my way. Well, let's see you get ahead of me. Heads below. Here comes Murphy. Uh, heads up, Murphy. Right behind you. Come on. Come on. Have you lost your legs and arms? Climb up on that truck. Ready here? Let's go. Oh, set, Lieutenant, let's go! We're almost there, Collins. Hey, this might be bad. Uh, broad and main. Yep, a lot of little stores and workshops. Uh, it's worse than that. Tenements. Four and five story tenements made of kindling wood. Yeah, and all jumbled together. A fire in one of those tenements. Yeah, with a bad wind behind it tonight. Yeah. Oh, brother, this may be bad. Yeah, here we are. Fail your eyes, Collins. We've got to spot that fire fast. Well, there's the alarm box, but nobody's standing by to direct us. Hey, Lieutenant, shall we scout around for the fire? Oh, if this is a false alarm this time of night. Hey, hold it, hold it. There's a the place. Huh? Lieutenant, behind those cellar windows. Oh, 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 fire in the tenement cellar. You're right, Murphy. This yeah. could be bad. There goes Lieutenant Kennedy. He's going to ring in another alarm. Well, that leaves you, senior truckman. What orders, Murphy? Stand by. I'm going to need you. Hey, Darby, Malloy, get a ladder up against that house. Mark the house for the hose company. I'll get an axe, Murphy. Okay, kid. Hey, Vincent, locate that hydrant. Stand by to guide the horse, men. Already here. Hey, come on, come on. We'll size up the situation and report back to Lieutenant Kennedy. Uh, here comes the first hose company. Hey, Murphy, that cellar's full of fire. It's blazing in a dozen places. Oh, that fire was set. This here's an arson job. Yeah, shall I call a lieutenant? Oh, no time to waste. We've got to scout the fire and roust out the people upstairs. Yeah, well, they're all asleep. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a light and, an and another. They're waking Hello, up Hello, there. Turn out, turn out. Fire! Shouldn't we go in, Murphy? No, no, not yet. Not until we know what we're up against. Uh, call it. Uh, go around to the back and see how close this building stands to the one next door. All right, I get it. So we can tell the hose men if they've got to drench the other buildings to save it. Yeah. Huh? Okay, Murphy, I'm on my way. Hurry it up, kid. Report back to me here. Hello up there. Turn out those... Oh, good grief. This is going to be tough. Buildings all jammed together. That, that angle up there, hardly room to squeeze through. I'd, I'd better get back and... Get... Oh. Hello up there. You on the second floor. Go down those stairs. Get out. Fireman, help. Mr. Fireman. Hey, 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 no, don't throw it, whatever it is. Catch him. Catch my baby. No, madam, don't throw it. Oh, I caught it. Oh, good grief, I caught it. Well, what do you know? I... I caught it, I... Oh, I mean him or, or her. Uh, madam, I caught your baby. Hey, 
Uh, hey, hold it. Help, I'm going to jump. No, no, wait, the baby. See, I have your baby. Look, madam, if you jump, you'll hurt the baby. Do you understand? You, you don't want to hurt the baby. Mr. Fireman, I'm going to jump. Madam, look. Here's your baby. Your baby's all right, and you will be, too, if you wait. <laughs> Now, Tim Collins, rookie fireman, is no expert on baby care, but he's wise enough to know that the frightened mother will calm down and wait for help if he can persuade her that such a course is best for her baby. For details of the rescue and Chief Cody's plan of attack on the fire now raging in the tenement, listen to our next true-to-life episode of The Firefighters. <laughs> And now, Chief Bob Cody with a special assignment for all young firefighters. Chief Cody. Hello, boys and girls. This is Chief Cody with your special assignment. You are to inspect your homes to see what protection your house offers against fire spreading upward from the cellar. Inspect the cellar door to see if it is so constructed and so located that it would serve to hold a fire at bay long enough for your family to reach safety. Remember, a fire in the cellar must be blocked off below stairs as long as possible. Well, that is all. So long, you'll hear from me soon. Fire Chief Cody and the young rookie fireman Tim Collins will be back on the same station the next time you hear. That's it. Let's roll. Let's go. Firefighters. Firefighters is written by Frank Jones and is a copyrighted feature of William F. Holland Productions.